A quiet residential neighborhood, usually surrounded by open fields and a local high school, has now had several experiences with a new trend. There was another big commotion like this, I'd say maybe a month ago or so, and it's happened some other times in the past as well. Street takeovers and sideshows have become an ongoing nuisance for law enforcement and residents across the state including here at home. They're very disruptive and I'd say it was going on for at least an hour and it's very loud. It's hard to sleep. Like I wanted to go to sleep, but you can't because of the noise and commotion. It was a mess. My dog was going crazy. You could hear the noise all the way to the house and they just kept going. They had to be like, I say, at least, at least 40 cars. Sideshows or takeovers typically involve dozens to hundreds of drivers and spectators blocking off major intersections in order to showcase stunts or other dangerous maneuvers. You're talking about people driving uh, thousand pound vehicles and once these vehicles start going in motion and you add speed to them, there's no guarantee that there won't be a mechanical failure or an operator failure. That's why operations to shut down these events have become a high priority for local agencies. On Friday, Bakersfield Police, California Highway Patrol, and Kern County Sheriffs all teaming up, arresting 69 people and impounding 37 cars at Old River Road just in front of Independence High School. The local residents saying the actions of law enforcement help put them at ease. I'm pleased with, the, again, the law enforcement response to try to keep our neighborhoods quiet and safe. But as they suspect these events will continue, they're hoping that those who involve themselves will come to realize the danger and disruption they're causing. They will get a bad reputation say, oh, you know, they can't control people here. Uh, the police never come by. But someone's going to get hurt, you know. The kids all standing along the side cheering and yelling and stuff. And one of these days, the kids are going to lose control of his car and he's going to kill some other kids. For 23ABC News, I'm Veronica Morley, connecting you.